This could be the most remarkable discovery or invention ever made in the history of mankind. Nuclear fusion capable of a 500% energy return using water as the catalyst has been discovered. A startup company using water in place of nuclear fuel says it has achieved amazing results. How the heck is this even possible? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Just want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. If you can support us on Patreon, that would be amazing. I'll put a link in the description below. A startup using water as nuclear fuel has claimed a net energy gain milestone. I mean, this is a staggering achievement. The company called ENG8 says it can generate five times as much power as it puts into its fusion energy process five times. This honestly, to me, sounds so good, so staggeringly incredible that it can't possibly be true. But many people are saying it is. You've got to listen to these guys. They have the solution to our nuclear fusion challenges. However, this company is not exactly a well-known company. In fact, ENG8 is a fusion energy company based in Gibraltar, and they have claimed recently to have achieved something that is truly staggering. They say they have obtained a five-time energy gain from their experiments. If this were true, this is the holy grail of energy. This company is worth trillions of dollars, and you should invest in them a second because you're going to make a ton of money, honestly. Everything I just said then is not made up. I mean, if you own just a fraction of this company and their claims are correct, you're probably going to be a billionaire. The company's claims were validated staggeringly at the Cullum Innovation Centre in Oxfordshire, one of the leading fusion centres under the UK Atomic Energy Authority, the company press release said. Still, my mind is blown. Apparently, these insane claims, which sound ridiculous, have been validated by the UK government. Nuclear fusion offers a non-polluting and less risky method to meet the world's entire energy demands. While the process has been ongoing on the sun for billions of years, says Interesting Engineering, humanity is still trying to perfect how it can be replicated on Earth. Now, essentially, nuclear fusion requires us to heat something up to temperatures at around about the temperature of the sun which is very difficult and requires an insane amount of energy. So getting more energy back out of the process is the challenge. Yeah, we can easily, well, relatively easily heat something up to those temperatures. But we rarely get back the an increase in energy from the energy we've used in the process. Therefore, a five times gain would be a far better accomplishment than what we achieved, well, what the United States achieved earlier this year, which was the best achievement ever in the history of mankind. When they were able to get around 10 to 20% more energy out of the process than they put in. Now a 500% energy gain completely dwarfs those numbers. And research in the area thus far has been focused on using magnets and lasers to create plasma, where nuclei and smaller atoms can be fused to create energy. However, Energy gain has not been achieved through those approaches so far. This means that the energy spent to create fusion energy is much higher than the energy generated. Therefore, a claim that energy output is five times more than what's been put in is a staggering milestone that energy companies around the globe would all be interested in. This would completely change the entire world within a space of months. If it were true, I believe we would probably just drop solar and wind and battery storage and move on to this because the gain is astronomical, 500%. Uh, this is basically creating free energy for mankind and it would completely change everything. This would be the most technologically advanced thing that would change human history that I've ever heard of. In g 8s approach to generating fusion energy is very different from its peers. This may be the key here. Instead of trying to fuse hydrogen atoms, the company uses water molecules as a primary fuel in its setup, called the energy cell. The company still needs to create high energy plasma, which it does using heat. Here, the atoms of the water molecule are ionized and recombined under high temperature conditions 
to release electromagnetic energy. On its website, ENG8 says it has worked out a catalyst that helps reduce the temperature required to initiate and maintain fusion. And it used a readily available proton source to generate ions instead of producing specialist hydrogen isotopes. The catalytic fusion process generates energy in various forms, such as light, heat, electrons, and other charged particles. This is trapped through the expansion of a coolant through a heat engine and directly converted electromagnetic energy into electricity. So there have been other outlandish claims made about nuclear fusion in the past, which have been debunked, but apparently this project has been validated. The letter Q symbolizes the fusion energy gain factor and is the ratio of the energy put into the energy generated. When Q equals one, break even is reached. But when Q exceeds this number, it is called infinite. In other words, this could be an infinite energy supply. ENG8 claims that it has declared a Q factor value of 2.4 thermal or five electrical, which Underwriters Laboratories, a US-based independent certification agency has validated. For the validation, ENG8 ran three tests, each exceeding more than 10 minutes. The press release claims and for each of these runs, the Q value electrical was five. The results are brilliant. They're staggering. The ability of the fusion reaction was incredible. And this development can make the biggest difference to climate change of any other technology on earth, said Valeria Toyotina, CEO at the company. It changes everything faster than you think. It does change everything if this is true. And it appears that it is. The company has not reached this point overnight. It has been working on validating the energy cell since 2020, when it completed its first independent validation with a Q of 1.8, which clearly it has improved over the last three years. The recent assurance has paved the way for energy cell to be deployed as early as next year, the company claims. Now, I can't really argue with these claims because they've been independently verified. And if they are true, then I was wrong about nuclear. Guys, I have to go out and say it right now because I've said solar, wind, and battery storage is the way forward for the planet and is already the winner. But the reality is here. If this company, in fact, can commercialize this technology and can do it within the next couple of years, it's game over. This is utterly game over. The world will be changed completely and for the better within a very short period of time. The investment that will go into this technology will be in the hundreds and hundreds of billions. Wow, talk about a game changer. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you for watching.